Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Happy holidays and welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I invite you to please do so. You can follow me at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And once again, my tag is at Prime Real Estate Rick. Today's episode is one that is near and dear to my heart because this is going to be our 2018 year in review and our season one finale of the prime real estate network today's episode is the culmination of a year of hard work and dedication and i want to thank everyone who's been subscribing following tuning in and listening to the prime real estate network podcast as always my co-host is not only an author not only a texas real estate broker but he's also a serial entrepreneur and someone who gives back to the community as much as he possibly can um for everyone who tunes in regularly to the prime real estate network podcast they'll, to there'll be no surprise to you but my co-host is mr larry w brooks what up what up rick we back in here man another week yeah. um and and what can i say we're coming off of a week that has uh, started kicked off what christmas right oh, a couple man. of days ago absolutely man the yeah. holidays have been great how yeah. was your christmas by the way you know what my christmas was smooth but you know i think you you hit a particular area of life where it's not as a, it's not about receiving as much as it about giving absolutely so having an opportunity to give and just spend time uh with family and and i mix mine in so i do a little bit of with family and i do some work or we kind of throw it all in together family's working with me so that's kind of the thing that that's like our platform over there i know we had a um really nice christmas get together over at my house and i want to thank all my friends and family that were able to stop by i know a lot of times especially on christmas you have three four or five stops you have to make uh -huh, that's so right. everyone who carved some time out of their schedule to stop by and enjoy the holiday with me and my family i really do appreciate that uh, today's episode like i was telling in the intro is just the culmination of all of our previous efforts and hard work as far as not only producing this podcast but bringing it to as many people as we can so yeah could you believe that this is the end of our first season of the prime real estate network you know you know who's exciting you yeah. know and i think the, the funniest thing is no i can't believe it's the end because it seems like it came too quick you know every week when we're taking an opportunity to get prepared when we're sitting down and talking about you know who's exciting what guests do we want to have on this week that can share with the audience um their vision the platforms that they have that can allow um you know our audience to 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 be able to grab nuggets to be able to either make decisions or maybe something a career that they've always want to go into or just maybe a, a way of finding business financing some of the things that we just you don't hear about on a, a common basis so just being able to bring the right people in so it's kind of cool you know this has been super fulfilling for me because a lot of the feedback that i get is from friends family business partners and clients yeah who have gained an extra level of insight into how we conduct business and the type of professionals we work with. Yes, sir. Um, yes, what sir. I get a lot of times is, oh, I can't believe um, you guys work with an inspector. He seems so <laughs> cool. Or I can't believe that your lenders, they seem so down to earth yeah. because a lot of times, and this is something that I go through with clients during our initial, initial introductions, is that it's always natural to feel as if I'm going to do business with someone that I know personally. Mm -hmm because you feel like you can hold them a bit more accountable. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's going to be a little bit more transparency. But after our first season and watching our episodes, I've had some viewers let me know that I feel more comfortable reaching out to other professionals yeah. when I need business handled. Because, and this is something that I didn't anticipate, and let me know if you agree. I didn't think that this podcast 
would empower certain individuals to step out of their comfort zone yeah and reach out to other professionals that they might not know personally from work or they might not be a member of their family because i'm sure you can speak to that certain business practices are better done with a professional true even though you may have a member of your family that you've known forever yeah if you can't necessarily look at their resume or track record mm -hmm. to predict how they would handle certain business circumstances well, you I, might want to go with a professional you no know, i totally agree with you i mean even when it comes to to family and 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 i know it a lot of times we think to ourselves we want to give family an opportunity but a lot of times if it's a big financial decision you know, you really want to deal with family that's good, that has a reputation of being able to provide that service that you're looking for. So, you know, if I'm getting ready to invest my finances with a financial advisor or someone that passes along that type of knowledge, I may not want my family member that just became a financial advisor 13 days ago. Right. Now, again, now I don't I don't knock it because we have a lot of people that come into our, the real estate industry or even as realtors that don't have the experience, but they got the right kind of partnership, the right type of brokerage firm mm -hmm. that can hold their hands and walk them through it. But, you know, it's one of those things, like you said, it really just depends on after looking at this platform. Now, you know that. So now you know that if you get a, a family member that wants you to use their service now, it's not as fearful to you because now, you know, the ask, well, hey. You're not going to be doing this by yourself. You have a team, right? Exactly. And if you have that question answered, then you're like, well, hey, I'm all in. But if they're trying to, if you're trying to be the test dummy for them, <laughs> no, my is, finances is never the way I want to do that. No, and I really agree with you because um, what I, the way I try to illustrate it for people that I have an opportunity to interact with is that a lot of times as a new business professional or a new entrepreneur yeah. or someone, a new business owner, you're initially going to farm out potential customers with mm -hmm. friends and family that's right yeah and the thing about that is as a person who's conducting real estate business there's really nothing wrong with that once you're a seasoned investor mm -hmm. once you bought your second third or your fourth home but when you're buying your first home yeah and this is your first time applying for a mortgage <laughs> and it's your first time yeah. going out to see new homes and this is your first time getting a home built you may want to necessarily find the most experienced mm -hmm. professional rather than someone who is close to you emotionally. Yeah. Because when you when it's your first time, you're gonna need education. True. And you're gonna need the luxury of their experience. So that's why I'm so happy that our platform has allowed people to open up their um, sphere of contacts yeah. and connections yeah. and have an idea of, okay, maybe I'm thinking about hiring my first interior designer yeah and i want someone who's been doing it I for agree. a while and is classically trained in interior design yeah you know and, and as you mentioned that too rick it's another thing that i've noticed and you could you, you've probably seen the same thing as we've had our discussions our platform has changed so much with the type of guests that we're having come in it even feels that Yes, we're the prime, the prime real estate network, but we're able to even bring in people or, or even going into the new year, maybe looking at bringing in people that are not directly connected to the industry, simply because I'm watching the platform grow and the knowledge and the feedback that we're getting is people really wanting to know about the different businesses that they could be a part of. So just, you know. And, and no, and that's the thing about it. And that that works towards our foundation of wanting to motivate and inspire mm -hmm. That's the right. people who listen to our podcast and take the time to watch us on YouTube yes, is sir. because if there is at least one person who's been inspired to change their outlook on entrepreneurship, yes, sir. Or who's decided that maybe I'm going to get off the sideline and actually get into the game or even those part-time real estate professionals yeah. who've just needed a little bit of an inspirational push to become full time, to take their business to the next level. Yes, That's sir. all we can really hope for is that we're inspiring and motivating the people who actually interact with our podcast. No, I totally agree. Um, and just, I think that's the biggest part of it. I think that's what we've been able to do. And moving forward, that's I think that's the thing that I'm really excited about, just being able to bring in the right guest that's going to change the mindset. Right? right, because what I've started, and you let me know if you agree, is that our guests, the power of their stories. Yeah is what I want to get across to the masses. I agree. Because it seems like every guest that we've had has had from the time that they were a young child some inspiration, mm -hmm. family member, um, close family friend that kind of 
lit the match. That's right. That kind of got them on their path of entrepreneurship and being a business owner. So I agree with you. I don't think we should just confine ourselves to the realm of real estate. Yeah. I think any entrepreneur or business owner that has a story yeah. that has some ideals that they want to pass on to everyone who has those nuggets of wisdom mm -hmm. that as an individual, they can't maybe can't get out to as large yeah. of a faction of people as they would like that they're able to use our platform yeah. and to you know, get that message out. It, it, and, and I really see a lot of it because I think I got up to, and I was really, you know, funny thing is I was really trying to get 52 books in this year. I was My goal was to try to read 52 books in, in 2018. I didn't quite get that. I think I got to uh -oh, the high 30s. Yes, I, see, I see we just exposed <laughs> your first 2019 <laughs> resolution. Right, I'm going to hit my note. <laughs> but the amazing thing that, but as I went through and I, I read these books or and um, took in these audio books of of these different success stories i just saw the same kind of like that that motivational inspiring positive mindset kind of come together in all of them right. right even the ones that were just based on sales um hey sell this sell that everybody had that inner find it inside yourself your your positively and, yeah. and, and things so yeah that's a lot of things that come no out. and i mean that's one of the resolutions that i've made because um one of the benefits of building this platform mm -hmm. is that I feel a responsibility to educate myself even more now. Yeah. I need to take in more information. I need to do more um, continued education classes because I want to make sure that the people who view yeah. this podcast and listen to us on a regular basis are always at the forefront of any shifts in the market, I agree. any small changes as far as qualifying standards because I want to be a resource. That's right. That every Thursday at noon, when people tune into our podcast, they are hearing something that they did not know previously. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, don't want to just inundate people with information that they hear at work or they've overheard at the water cooler or at the coffee pot in yeah. the morning. I really want to be a resource where people are like, wow, I never really considered it that's right. that I way. Agree. Yes, sir. And so that's why, like, um, what type of goals do you have? For the podcast going into 2019 i'm just curious yeah well rick i want to see i continue one again i want us to continue to bring on guests that's gonna that's gonna set the pace of how we think and how we feel and um i think when i think about it is i'm going to continue to share things that are going on with me i'm gonna go a little bit more intimate when it comes to that because i think that you know we have social media that helps that allows us to have day-to-day -day access to our celebrities our friends and, and i want to be able to be an open book like a lot of those uh platforms that we're part and of and you so. know it's funny because i feel like we owe that um to the buying public to the mm -hmm. selling public and to the real estate investment public because That's right. Personally, and I've had clients in the past that I've worked with express to me the frustration that currently when you're looking for a real estate professional to hire to mm -hmm. serve your real estate needs, the only real options they have are Zillow, mm -hmm. HAR, or word of mouth. Now, word of mouth is great because you can build trust because someone you know referred you to that person. That's right. But as far as their professional acumen, yeah. you're still kind of in the dark. Yeah. With Zillow and Har, you can see a pretty detailed list of their real estate accomplishments, mm -hmm. but you know nothing about the person. That's right. And what I'm hoping <laughs> we can build in 2019, I hope we can bridge that gap. Yeah. Because we both have a documented history of real estate success, integrity, and professionalism. Yes, sir. And I'm hoping with our platform we can bring people more into our professional world. I agree. So that they can have an idea that this machine doesn't just work on its own. It's a team of professionals. It has to be. All doing and serving in their role to the best of their ability so yes, that sir. we can achieve a level of professionalism that we all can be proud of. Yep. I agree. And, you know, it's funny. Um, I want to talk a little bit about resolutions because it's, it's funny because ever since we started the fourth quarter of 2018 yeah from a real estate perspective i've started making plans like anyone who watches our show regularly knows about the 100 home initiative mm -hmm. that i want to find 100 families in 2019 to transform them from renters to owners wow and we're able to do that for people who are absolutely positively ready to buy and own today. Yeah. 
and for those who feel like they need 12 months yeah. to get their resources and finances in order. We can help everyone because anyone who wants to own a home this year, mm -hmm. if they can hear the sound of my voice, I want to make that possible. So as far as I, my 2019 resolutions, I've, I've promised myself yeah. personally and professionally to push this platform even more. Yeah. I want to do more as far as public outreach. We want to make more public appearances. I want to be in a position where when people are thinking, even if they feel as if, oh, well, I may be a year away from buying, yeah. I want this podcast to be something that they can go to as a resource, yeah. not only to learn, but to inspire. That's right. Because even if you're kind of nervous, and I might be scared to call Rick or Larry right now, <laughs> I want you to be able to. We don't want you to be scared. We don't want you to be <laughs> nervous. Come on. We're friendly, that? touchable. DM, no. all of that. We, no, because yeah. Larry, please explain to the uh, <laughs> public how you built your real estate practice with marketing, public appearances, but you're still a man of the people. No doubt about Express it. Express to people how you're really open to, you actually, if people call you, you can actually schedule Man, a sit down with Larry. This Brunson. thing was grassroots, literally. <laughs> I'm I'm the guy, when I first got into this industry 17 years ago, I did door knocking. So I would go to total, total strangers' places and knock on doors to try to find a way to achieve business. Now, I've had an opportunity to be blessed over the years to, to do this business full time and and hit levels of success but i still am that person that goes out shake hands and as they say kiss babies and right. all of that pass our cause like i am a face-to-face -face. i'm a um uh, what they call guerrilla marketer like right. i need to be out there in the things touching people and not to say that i don't still do all of the social media stuff that needs to be done but for the most part um being being friendly and knowing people and being trustworthy is where our business is built. A lot of I, I talk to a lot of realtors that are afraid that oh social media is gonna take our clients or we're or we're gonna become obsolete. That's impossible, right? right? We're the negotiating key factor behind this. People can go and find houses online all day and all night if they choose to, but we do the negotiating. Exactly, we're the ones that's gonna get you that secret deal that 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 we've been educated and we're knowledgeable about in this business every day. That's what we do. And, you know, it's it's something that, as professionals, it's our responsibility to get the message out there. Mm -hmm. So I want to let everyone know, everyone who subscribes, um, tunes in, and likes the Prime Real Estate Network podcast, if you would like to meet with myself or Mr. Brooks, we host home buyer orientations mm -hmm. and seminars oh, yeah. every Thursday and Saturday if you're in the greater Houston area. I'm glad so, you mentioned that. So, no, I, I want to make sure I can't emphasize this enough. Yeah. Every Thursday, every Saturday, if you would like the opportunity to sit down and consult with myself or Mr. Brooks or one of our other team of real estate professionals, mm -hmm. all you have to do is reach out to us at any time via Instagram, Facebook, direct email, direct cell phone contact, text messages. Please do not let yourself become deterred through procrastination or feeling as if you're not important enough for us to set aside time for because we want to work with anyone who's ready to better themselves and start to generate generational wealth. Yeah. And before we go, before we go to break, I want to say I am going to be hosting myself and the team are going to be hosting a Texas home buyers vision board party. So I know the vision boards is the thing that we go into the new year thinking about. They're always exciting. I, I haven't had an opportunity to take part in one myself, but this one I'm looking forward to as well. So um, this big vision board party is going to be on Sunday, January 27th. It's going to be at the Brooks and Davis office. It's going to be from one to three. So if you go to Larry, if you go to LarryWBrooks.com, um, the first tab, click on that tab should be the for you to be able to RSVP to the home buyers workshop. So when we come back from the break, Rick, um, let's let's talk a little bit more about what we're looking for in the future. And and hey, I we, know, and we're gonna take a short break. But when we get back, I want to have the final real estate myth buster of 2018 because yeah. I think this is something. And I need to give away that gift too. I'm sorry. Oh, absolutely, we got to give away. away. Gift. I got, I got, so I got the, I got the person that won. So I want to. Hey, look, get a, somebody is gonna win a gift basket. So. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to the Prime Real Estate Network, and we'll be right back after this short message from our sponsors. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, 
Email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network. I'm your host, Rick Davis. You can follow me on social media at at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Prime Real Estate Rick. Um, if you tuned into last week's episode, you're aware of the <laughs> fact that the generous Mr. Larry W. Brooks had a contest where he was going to give away a gift basket for whatever viewer tagged and shared last week's episode the most often. So I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Larry W. Brooks so that he can present the prize to our winner. Yeah. Hey, guys, listen. As you can see, I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, you don't even have to have a tech. You didn't have to be a Texas fan in order to win it. But um, <laughs> I believe the gentleman that did win is a Texas fan. But with no further ado, and I'm going to get some drum roll as I go into this. Guys, the winner is Mike Reyes. So, Mike, I'll be reaching out to you. And um, we'll be getting this to you, and, and, and I look forward to it. But thank you so much uh, for participating. Thank you for sharing information. And, again, you guys, just move forward, moving forward, just uh, follow us on our, on our YouTube page. And, and, of course, you can check us live here um, every Thursday at 12. So uh, thank you again for participating. Now, um, we've reached the point of the show where every week Mr. Brooks presents our audience with his a prime real estate network myth buster of the week. Um, this is something that with this being our final show for 2018, um, me and Larry discussed this myth buster and this is something that we hold near and dear to our hearts. So without any further ado, Larry, can you please present our real estate myth buster of the week? So, so here's, here's the thing, Rick. I, I've, I've been in the entrepreneur space for quite some time. And so uh, with being in the entrepreneur space, I find that the biggest myth that we're getting, the feedback that we're getting from the show right. is that uh, if I'm not involved in real estate or I don't own a bunch of properties or I'm not an inspector, then I may not be able to be, I can't be a guest on you guys' show. And that is absolutely positively <laughs> not the case. No, because once again, and I hate to sound like I'm repeating myself, yeah. this platform was built to motivate mm -hmm. and inspire yeah. current entrepreneurs and business owners future entrepreneurs and business owners and those who don't yes, know sir. they're going to be entrepreneurs and business owners so i want to i want this message to be loud and clear to the entire prime real estate network audience mm -hmm. if you are a business owner um, if this is your first year owning your business or if you've owned your business for 20 years if you have a story and a message that you think would resonate with the Prime Real Estate Network audience, please reach out to Mr. Brooks yeah. and myself. Because right now, we're working out our schedule for season two of the Prime Real Estate Network. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for those entrepreneurs, those who have fought the good fight, those who have made it over all the obstacles and challenges that an uh, entrepreneur and a business owner is going to go through throughout a life cycle of owning a business. So, right. um, and I'm sure Mr. Brooks can attest to this. There is no such thing as an insignificant business or insignificant business owner. Everyone has a story that can resonate with someone. Yeah. And our goal is to is to touch someone every week. That's right. And, and you know, the, the thing about it, as we're growing and as the, the platform is continuing to grow, we, we're introducing new people into the space, not only, you know, to, to, to expose and inspire others, but, you know, we want to get we want to also give you guys as the audience an opportunity too. those of you that may be doing pretty good and you want to be able to expose your um, organization or your leadership skills to other people. We have a platform of marketing too. So Absolutely, you can most definitely as you as you see here as we go as we get started and as we go to break and as we end the show, we have a company that sponsors us. But those sponsorship ads can be broken up too, so you Absolutely. can most definitely become a sponsor. And what too. you'll find in 2019, and this is another one of our resolutions, is because I want our audience to understand that we keep up and we continuously work with our previous guests. That's right. So yep. stay tuned to the Prime Real Estate Network for season two because what you'll get is a little bit more background. You'll yep. see how our past guests, how their businesses are evolving, mm -hmm. what they've been into. And what you'll find is that the people that we work with, since we all 
pool our resources and our talents, all of the companies grow and everyone flourishes together. And that's one of the things that I'm really proud of that's as right. far as establishing this platform. I agree. I agree. Yes, sir. So, Larry, you know, with this being the end of 2018, um, our season one finale, yeah. are there any final thoughts that you want to leave the audience with as far as how they should look um, forward to 2019 from a business perspective and what type of things are exciting you about the upcoming year? Man, that's that's a good way of saying it. And, and I'll close out with this, Rick. You know, gratitude is everything to me, right? right. So, you know, when we got to show appreciation. And this is that time of season. You know, it's a holiday right. season. You rolling right into the Christmas where people are giving. They show it by, I mean, we, we're finishing up Christmas. They show it by gift giving. But for the most part, just giving gratitude and telling someone the way that you appreciate them and the way that you trust them is a big deal you know myself going into 2019 my relationships have been important but the relationships that have trusted me to use my business right. those are uh, those those places that have uh, contribute to grandparents love those foundations and things that I spend my time and energy on that's important to me so right. for everyone out there that that took the opportunity to go and click on the button and donate to a grandparents love myself and the board appreciate you um, those of you that have uh, that have trusted me enough to uh, use Use Brooks and Davis Real Estate Company as a platform of selling or or purchasing or just investing or even apartment locating. I thank you uh, for those that, of you that you know know that you don't you may not have a relationship when it comes to the real estate industry. Uh, you may not have the money to do a donation to a grandparent's love, but you've had an opportunity to, to support me in other ways. Come to events that I've had and I've been speaking at. Come and um, ret read, read, retweet or share information that I'm placing online. Those things I thank you for because I realize that everyone's not going to always know somebody that need, has a real estate need. Mm -hmm. I know someone that, you know, you might not want to buy a book as a gift for someone. I get that. Right. But, you know, those retweets and shares, those things help. So I, I appreciate you and Rick man I appreciate you man I, I appreciate you for having a vision to get this platform started and 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 us being able to expose what it is that we do what it is that our, our, our counterparts do our affiliates do in this business and as we grow man I, again I appreciate you and I want to publicly thank you as well because um, it's always a benefit and a blessing to have someone like yourself to that shares vision yeah. A lot of times, especially when you're an entrepreneur and you're thinking about how to push your brand forward, there's not a lot of people that you can go to with your vision that are like minded yeah. and can help help filter everything down to what is most needed and necessary. And for that, I want to thank you, because a lot of times I've and we've worked together for a lot of years now, but I always come to you with these things because you have a way of looking at ideas and being able to parse them down to the point where they're workable, manageable, and they can actually come to market. Wow. Thank and that's you. something that I want to thank you for. And I also want to take some time to thank all the staff over at Brooks and Davis Real Estate. And specifically, I want to thank Mr. Michael G. Davis, um, because without his assistance behind the scenes and Brooks and Davis Real Estate support as our title sponsor, mm -hmm. none of this would be um, possible. Also, I want to thank everyone at the Spheres Podcast yes, Network sir. behind the scenes to help bring this podcast yeah. to everyone here from a um, audio standpoint on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. And I want to urge you all, if you do not follow us on the audio podcast, please do so. If you go to Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher, and search the Prime Real Estate Network, you'll have access to the audio podcast of every episode in season one. If you watch us on YouTube or you like the video version of our podcast, please subscribe, leave a good comment, because what we like to do is that in 2019, when we start having our Prime Real Estate Network marketing functions and our celebratory parties, those who subscribe on YouTube and those who follow us on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify will always get complimentary tickets and access to all the Prime Real Estate Network functions. So I want to make sure that I also, and finally, I want to thank all my past, present, and future clients. Um, without you, my practice, 
would be non-existent. So I want to thank everyone who's entrusted me to work with them, their families, and find them housing and homes that they love and want to raise their family in now and in the future. So, um, Mr. Brooks, before we sign off, is there anything that you'd like to say to the audience? Nope. Okay, that's great. <laughs> On behalf of the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, I am Rick Davis, and we are signing off from the Prime Real Estate Network. I want to wish you all happy holidays and a fabulous new year. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com.